Hello and welcome to the Million Mom Movement community. My name is Michelle Ricci and I've been with the Million Mom Movement for about six months now and I'm so passionate about our mission because we get an opportunity to solve problems and educate people on things that matter for ourselves and our families. So I'm joined by my council, my beautiful council, Naeva Flore, Carmela Velarde and Taz Ferreira. And we want to welcome you to today, March 24th. So great topic today. Please check your mutes as you come in. 90-day um, fitness ULT plus performance. And this is such a great kit. I'm really excited, more excited though, to go over it with our guest, Melissa Henson. And we're going to get into so much more than the ULT plus performance pack. We're going to take you start to finish with this lifestyle and how it can impact your lives in so many ways. So it's uh, March, we've been marching into fitness um, and really wanna unpack, um, is your body balanced from 90 days of ULT and what to expect from this lifestyle track? But first I'm gonna pass it and we'll get right into it with Carmela Velarde. We uh, do an in the news piece that's relevant every week. We wanna share with you things that are happening that are relevant to the mission and to uh, the lifestyle that we promote here at the Million Mom Movement. So Carmela, without further ado, I'll pass to you. Thank you so much, Michelle. Happy Friday, everyone. Hope you're all doing amazing things for yourself today. And thank you for coming on. So today we're talking about the athletic pack. And I'm so excited for our guests to share. So in the chat, just uh, click into that link and save this to your devices so you can open up what I'm about to share. So um, with Purium, the organic superfood manufacturing company that we represent proudly, um, it is a vegan company, but we're not per se vegan or really encouraging everybody to become vegan, but we do want you to become more plant-based and to understand how gut health actually does impact even athletic performance. So this article today this is last year, August, shares from Science News, a stable gut helps elite athletes perform better. How short-term high-protein diets may hinder endurance athletes. So let's look into this. What are they talking about? Researchers from across the UK analyzed the performance and gut health of a group of well-matched, highly trained endurance runners to explore the impact of both high-protein and high-carb diets. The study found that in those following a high protein regimen, this resulted in the disturbance in the, in the stability of, gut, of the gut microbiome. And this was accompanied by 23.3 reduction in time trial performance. So they got to actually give you um, a difference in how it affected their athletic performance. Analysis found a significantly reversed diversity and altered composition of the gut vaginal. I don't know the signed word, but as well as higher levels of certain types of, of virals and bacterial compartments. Those participants whose gut microbiome was more stable performed better during time trials. Um, gut imbalance impacts different people in different ways, but can manifest itself in acute symptoms. And we know many of them, many of this uh, community are here because you know the importance of the biomedic and how we detoxify the gut. Um, as there is a crosstalk between the gut and the brain. Those following a high carb diet, in contrast, resulted in an improved time trial performance. So 6.5 increase. So this is interesting. And I just thought that we can really highlight that aspect of, you know, um, the gut microbiome being a, um, it hinders when you have a higher protein. Now, why is, does that happen? It happens because our ability to break down protein by the kidneys impairs then our long-term long uh, endurance and stamina. So um, yeah, and if you've not seen the documentary Game Changers, that's also something to note because it's just something that I feel um, validates also the fact that our, our Super Amino 23s and our more plant-based regimen can really help help us. So back to you, Michelle. Thanks, Carmela. I appreciate that article. And it it is really interesting. I love that they're linking it with a study, which I think a lot of people can 
um, really grab onto something more tangible when you see uh, these studies like this. So I would really love to just bring on Melissa now. She is uh, an educator on lifestyle, uh, balance, gut health, immune support, plant-based recipes, um, and wealth information transformation coach as well. So um, Melissa, you've made it your mission to educate and support on these things and have helped thousands of people. What's the consensus? What are your insights on the ULT Plus performance and even more so just 90 day results with your customers? I think it's a good reminder for everyone to remember that we didn't get to where we're at overnight, so things aren't going to change overnight. And I love the concept that this beautiful organic nutrition company, Purium, is encouraging us to really stick to a 90 day window, initially right out of the gate of the two meal replacements per day. That is gonna make the biggest significant change that we're looking for and help us get the results that we're looking for with our gut health, with our energy, with everything. And the performance pack is such an incredible bang for your buck. You know, I usually go straight for the standard transformation with two meal, with two meal replacements per day, but I'm always surprised by those that say, well, I do like to work out. Maybe I do need the extra support because I put it out there as an option. And it's true. Why not have the extra hydration, the extra protein, the extra support to knock out the lactic acid. And when I say protein, I mean this plant-based protein because a high pro a high animal protein diet creates more uric acid, which speeds up the aging process. I don't know about you, but I'm not looking to speed up the aging process. It creates more lactic acid in our body. It causes more inflammation in our body. We want a quick recovery time. And that's what this program provides for us. So I have clients that are into CrossFit, that are athletes. And then I have those that they just love hitting the gym for their mental well-being, for their emotional well-being. It's therapy, isn't it? So this program is fantastic for everyone, broad spectrum. I'm slightly obsessed with it. As you can see, like you can't fake this. And I also love the bang for the buck. It's less than $20 a day covering your breakfast, your lunch, your pre-workout, your post-workout. There's so much nutritional support there. And people are spending that on some toxic, greasy fried lunch going through drive through because they're in a rush somewhere. I mean... It truly is a no-brainer. I'm really, really passionate about this program for everyone. Yeah, we can tell. And we heard from Carmela's review of that article that the gut um, imbalance impacts different people in different ways, and it can manifest in different acute sy symptoms. So who, who are your customers? What do they want and why do they want to do this? You mentioned value. It saves money. And I would imagine that having served all of these people that you're seeing a common theme of you know what what people are coming for is it men is it women is it both can you extrapolate on that a little bit i'm gonna say it's a combo platter mostly women and then men of course and of course men always have the fastest results don't they it really annoys the wives because they initially don't even want to do it and then the wives try it the husband tries it he likes it so he orders one and then he drops weight right away so i always tell everyone getting started look Everybody's body is different. Men generally drop weight faster than women because all fat is metabolized in muscle. Men have more muscle than women, hence faster metabolisms. Women, you have your hormones you got to juggle and balance out. So just trust the process. Let your body do what it needs to do. There's a lot going on behind the scenes. And when I have that convo prepping them, then they're not as bitter. When they drop five pounds and their husband drops 10. <laughs> I say, just trust the process, keep going. But they love it. Honestly, everyone I chat with, they're surprised because they are coming initially for weight loss for the most part. But when I check in on them, weight loss, it's not even on top of mind anymore. They're not even thinking about that. They tell me, I can't believe I can lift weights and my joints don't hurt. I'm getting out of bed in the morning before my alarm clock. My brain fog is gone. Would you believe I don't have sugar cravings anymore? And they're going on and on with all these non-scale victories. And then they're like, Oh yeah. And I dropped eight pounds. I'm like, it's only been three weeks. 
That's huge. That's very significant. Do you even know what two pounds look like, looks like in a visual? Google it. It's a significant amount. And they're like, yeah, I'm really happy about this. So it's so much fun. It's so gratifying. It's so rewarding. I love hearing the testimonials. And then what I'll do <clears throat> is I will take a picture off of their Facebook or off their Instagram. And then I'll put the top three bullet points, at, three or four bullet points that they just shared with me. And I'll send it to them. And I'll say, do you mind if I share this? On my Instagram feed, it'll only be up for 24 hours. They always give me a thumbs up. And then a lot of times they end up reposting it. And then their friends and family are interested and other people are interested. So the ball just keeps rolling and the group is getting bigger and bigger, which is beautiful because anything we can do to get people away from the fast food and onto this superfood nutrition is life-changing. I like to think of it as honestly life-saving, truly. I love that. And I love that you uh, are highlighting your customers. And I, I would imagine that creates the longevity and the retainment and people wanting to continue with this lifestyle. I think the longer we stay with it, right, the more we realize, gosh, I didn't even realize that was wrong with me or that that went away. And I haven't had that in a while. And it mm -hmm. just things start to fall off. So with I wanna, your, before you uh, move on, yeah. I want to emphasize what you just said the retainment. I feel the more I check in on people, the longer they stay on the program. They feel catered to, truly cared for. I was speaking to a woman yesterday and she said, I had to get on this program from this other doctor a couple of years ago, but just to see her was $900 just to see her before getting the program from her. And she wasn't getting check-in phone calls. She wasn't being commended or congratulated. And that's something people get from us for free. That mentoring, the coaching, the accountability aspect, that's what's going to keep them going. I always tell my friends who start the business with me, if, if they feel like you give up on them, they give up on themselves. But if you check in on them, you're going to have a happy client for a really long time and you're going to have referrals. So really checking in on them and making sure they're having a beautiful experience is, is very, very important. Yeah, and that's exactly where I was going with my next question is, are you, um, you're highlighting them, do you have information calls and accountability calls or things where they can bring their friends that are seeing results or might be asking questions? Um, do you do that with regularity or do you have a, a special group you put all your people in? How do you manage all of these people at various stages of this transformation or their 90 days? Okay, so my friend Sonia, who introduced this to me four years ago, she had her own Facebook group, but then my group got so big, and we don't want people to get lost in the shuffle, that Sonia encouraged me to make a new Facebook group. And then I have business partners who their group of clientele got so big that I encouraged them to make their own Facebook groups. So now they have this these cozy, safe groups where they can share in and feel like they're not lost in the shuffle, right? And they share their experience and they share their questions. And I do monitor it. I never want a negative Nelly in there. So it is a safe space. There's no bullies. It's just really kind, compassionate people cheering each other on because not everybody who starts this program has the support at home that they would like, but they have it with us. So they have that Facebook support group. That's beautiful. And then we also have a weekly check-in every Monday. I go over the program real quick, short, 10 minutes or less. And then I ask for experiences and we get lots of two minute or less. I always ask them to keep it two minutes or less so we can keep it rolling. Cause you know, everyone has short attention spans, right? So everyone shares their experience and those who are listening for the first time, they're like, gosh, maybe this can help my mom. Maybe this can help my husband. Well, maybe this can help me. So the more they hear these experiences, facts tell stories sell. So when they hear the stories, they get even more excited. So I think that's a powerful. So the Facebook support group, the Monday check-in. And I know that Dave and Amy also do a weekly call for this, which is great. And what else do we have? We always encourage our business partners who are working this with us to share consistently on your Instagram. You never know who's listening. You never know who's watching. I cannot tell you friends how many people reach out to me and say, I have been listening to you talk about this for over, for four years, four years. I've been, I find I, I'm ready. And it makes me so happy because I have been consistent. They knew exactly where to go when they were ready. Sometimes it's timing and it doesn't hurt my feelings if they're not ready. 
when I'm chatting with somebody. That's not about me. It's just something in their life right now. It's just not the right time. So we do encourage everybody, keep sharing on your story. Keep sharing your story. Share other testimonials from friends in your group and your clients because you never know who it's going to resonate with. You never know who needs to hear it at that time. So sharing on social media, even if it's not in their comfort zone, just doing it. And then especially if it's not in their comfort zone, there will be other friends that are like, wow, well, if grandma so-and-so can do it, maybe I can do it. And if Susie Q, who I know is an extreme introvert, can do it, maybe I can do it. So everyone should be sharing consistently. I love that. And, and sometimes when it's not uncomfortable for us to share personally our own stories on our page, it, it's easier to share our happy customer stories or even other stories that we hear of other people's customers. And so don't be shy. Don't be afraid. People are consuming information on social media and you know, having something of value for them to see themselves in and see possibility in themselves is what we're really doing. So um, you just never know whose life you're going to touch. So I love it that you show up and don't take things personally because you don't know somebody's kid gets sick or somebody ends up in the hospital or passing away and um, it becomes life consuming. Life gets in the way. So we just keep showing up and holding space so that they know that we're there for them. I do have a question for you about, um, you know, do athletes also use other packs? I know we always talk about the 90 day, the first 90 days, and we really getting into the lifestyle. Um, do you find that athletes stick with the track or that sometimes families use the athletes pack or that you're using a ULT plus collagen or immune for athletes? And how do you um, work within all of these packs in your community? So I love the athlete pack. And then if a husband says that his wife wants to try it, but she doesn't work out and she's looking for weight loss, then at that moment, the athlete pack might not be right for her. It may be more support than she needs at this point. So I will put her on the ultimate lifestyle transformation plus immune. I always add the immune zinc, A, C, D, and E. We should all have that. Right. And even for the athlete pack, I always add that. And for my athletes and those who work out regularly, a lot of times they'll say, I can't see myself getting off of this. It's so convenient. Before this, I was going back to back, not taking breaks, grabbing coffee after coffee, killing my adrenals. And then I get home starving and then I eat whatever. So it makes it so convenient, so affordable. The athlete pack is incredible. And yes, like you mentioned, if there's others that they're referring to me, I'll ask them questions and I'll see which pack is best for them. If they're looking for weight loss, I'll probably start them on the standard transformation. If they're really looking for anti-aging. Of course, we have the beautiful collagen pack that helps produce more collagen. Awesome. Uh, what do you see? I mean, you've helped how many thousands of people in your organization at this point have you seen come through these products? And I, think what, this what, month will be, I think this month will be 19,000. Wow. <laughs> no, it's crazy. It's so an incredible, incredible reach. Um, what is the general consensus? What it what would you say your attainment is and and what are why are people sticking with it? I think people are sticking with it for the simplicity. I don't know anyone who's not busy. Everybody is busy. People are overworked. They have so many obligations. For families, most of the time, it seems like the, the husband and the wife are both working full time. They're just busy. So they love the convenience and the simplicity of this program. I think that's what keeps them on track. And of course, the energy. They didn't realize that they were going to have such a boost in their energy and they can't go back. One client said, he said, I feel like Superman. I can't give this up. I and you can't this. blame them. Why would you want to? I love that. And, and that's something that everybody can speak to. It doesn't have to be complex or an athlete or anybody, right? We all want our time back. We all want to feel good with our energy. And, and we, you know, we want to feel like we can be a value and show up for our lives and not be confused or run down during the day. So um, it's such a simple thing to speak to, but it's such a uh, prolific pain point. So I appreciate you bringing a voice to that. Mm -hmm. I want to pivot to service work. Um, and uh, unless you want to go through the pack a little bit or just say what your favorite part about the athletes pack is, I think we could pivot to service work. Yeah, I just wanted to share that I'm slightly obsessed 
with the aloe digest, the cocoa hydrate and the tart cherry and the can't beat this. And guess what? All of that is in the athlete pack. And every time I talk about it on my story, people will DM me, Hey, can you add everything you just said to my smart order? And I'm like, you bet I can. <laughs> and they love it. It's so good. I have a client today that told me she's no longer drinking Coke. That made me so happy because we all know how toxic Coke is, right? It's gross. I think of Coke as cancer in a can. You don't want that addiction. This is the natural, wonderful energy that's not destroying our adrenals. That's not zapping us. And that's replenishing us. I mean, they can't beat this. The nitric oxide it gives you, all that wonderful energy, the cocoa hydrate, the hydration so we get don't get cramped. The aloe digest for the gut support. It's so beautiful, all of these together. And of course, the tart cherry to bring down inflammation and help clean out our liver. And it's anti-aging. It's a win, win, win all the way, all the way around. So what I'll suggest that they do is just get a glass mason jar with an airtight lid. Pour your powders together. That's what I do just for convenience. I pour them all together, put it in my fridge. I keep it in my fridge because one of the beautiful things about this company is we don't have the anticoagulants and you know, the anti-clumping agents. So if you keep it in your fridge, it stays nice and fresh and perfectly powdery. I fill up my jar with water. I put in a little aloe digest. I'm sorry, I put in a little um, tart okay. cherry. And then I'll do a scoop of the powder. So boom, it's done. Instead of like, deet, 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 deet. Like just, we're talking about convenience um, here, right? Yeah, so I'll just take a scoop of You're the mixing powder. everything together. Yes, And so exactly. that you're just scooping a couple of tablespoons out of it every day and you're keeping the powder dry in the refrigerator. Exactly, exactly. Great idea. Makes it we'll so have to easy. add that to our recipe book under the drink yeah. section that's coming out at the end of the month. So very yeah. exciting, end of April. Okay, so you were a massage therapist for 20 years. Uh, you were doing meal plans, wellness retreats. Um, Perium found you, you fell in love with the products and then the business, but that is really not the real story here. What you created, Melissa, is quite literally a legacy and you created an obsession with serving people in this way and bringing them this kind of freedom. So would you say more, particularly starting with your mom and then expand from there into, um, you know, your, your business of this lifestyle, making it yeah. your business. Yeah, I'd love to. So initially what got me into health and wellness was trying to help my mom. Cause she struggled for 20 years with debilitating Lyme disease. Anyone who knows somebody who struggles with Lyme knows that the symptoms are endless. The doctors will give you depression medication, diverticulitis medication, chronic fatigue medication, uh, fibromyalgia, we could go on for days. My mom didn't want all of those medications. That wasn't the answer, but she struggled without answers for many, many years. When I found, when Purium found me, Sonia found me on Instagram sharing what I love to, um, I was telling my mom, mom, just eat like this. Just follow my Instagram, have all your girlfriends follow my Instagram. And I just started sharing recipes. And Sonia saw me sharing, sharing, sharing every day. And she said, why don't you share this? It's exactly what you're doing anyways. You're already sharing healthy, organic nutrition. Just share this. And she was right. So I started sharing this. Of course, I got my family on it right away. And we all felt so much better. Everything improved. Too many non-scale victories to even list but I'll give you a couple. Okay. My hormonal acne disappeared. My digestion got better. My mom's energy got better. Her brain fog got better. And when you have Lyme disease, brain fog is a big one. Her joint pain started to go away. Like we started feeling so stinking good. And then every Friday I was getting a check in the mail. And here's this epiphany. Wait, I don't have to carry my heavy massage table out of my car, up the stairs, down the West wing to massage till late at night. I can actually work this business from my couch with my latte and my sweatpants. This is amazing. So I said, Sonia, I don't think I'm going to do retreats or massages anymore. I'm just going to do Purium. She was so happy. She's like, yay, let's go. So we really started putting my energy into this instead of having it diluted into so many different other endeavors, right? And then a year into this business, my mom found out sadly that she actually had stage four HER2 positive breast cancer, really aggressive, really bad. It was really all over her body at that point. And so because of this business, I was able to grab a ticket. I didn't even look at the price. I didn't even wonder or care how long I was going to be gone. I just went there the very next day from California to Boston to be with my mom, went to those scary doctor appointments with her and my dad. 
And sometimes, sometimes in the Western medical field, some people are bullies and she was bullied and it wasn't a nurturing, caring experience. It was a sad, scary, almost like a mean experience. And she came home so defeated. I was like, mom, this is your body. You do whatever you want. So she chose to do the holistic road and that gave her probably 19 to 20, 21, 22, that gave her three more quality years that she would not, mark my words, she would not have survived another three years with chemo and radiation. She wouldn't have been strong enough for it. She was too petite, too sick already. And she had a quality of life that nobody would have even believed she was sick. She was going to the beach, we were going, living our best life ever. And we shared the journey and it was inspiring a lot of people because many people are in this situation to take hold of their health. And I'm just so grateful that this business allowed her to have that quality of life, allowed us to spend time with her and allowed me to retire my husband, Justin, from his electrical business so that we could be together with my mom. I helped her build a Purium business. That business in turn pays for the mortgage of the home that we got her down in Florida, five minutes from the ocean in a gated community. So she can be in the warm sunshine with the palm trees. And it's just an easier place to heal when it's warm out and sunny out. And her purium income still to this day, even though she's no longer with us, it still pays for that, if you can believe it. And so now my dad's gonna retire and work this business with me. And so it goes on and, my, and it's just a beautiful, beautiful gift that everybody deserves. So I'm so passionate about sharing this business with everyone because you never know when you're going to need it. So to have it now, start building it now, even as a little side hustle is such a smart idea. And then when the time comes, you have this business. So it's, it's truly been a gift in so many ways. We can go on forever about it. Yeah, it just cracked my heart wide open. It really, uh, just such an amazing story. And it, it's it's not the exception here in this community. It really quite literally is the rule. If you can think it and it's something that can support you in your life and you're open to it, it can really fund your dreams and be the framework for, for the life that you wanna create for yourself. So I just, I love this story and I, I really appreciate you, Melissa. And I wanna pick your brain business-wise a little bit. Um, and then I want to open it up to questions. So guys, get your questions ready, put them in the comments. I'm going to ask my council member, perhaps my council members to ask some questions first, if there are any. Um, but I'm sure all of us would love a Melissa Henson on our team and on our, in our corner and in our organization. And so part of my curiosity is, what did Sonia say to you? And how can people in the field that are listening that may um, have a favorite influencer that they just know this would fit with or um, a mentor or somebody that maybe they're shy about approaching, um, you know, what tips can you give us for breaking through that? Um, well, you know what Sonia taught yeah. me early on? She said, not everybody's an influencer, so find an influencer. Not everybody's a doctor, so find a doctor. Not everyone's a mom, so find a mom. Find what you aren't and build your team that way. And so it's nice to have a broad spectrum of everyone. I will say this, those who work hardest at this business are moms because they know how to multitask and they have hustle like no other. And I find women in their 50s and 60s because they have this confidence about them that's so powerful and beautiful. They don't care what anyone thinks. They're smart. They're, they're well read because they've done so much research for their own health journey for the most part. And so I, I love finding women that are like 50s, 60s, and then those who are even in their 70s because they're saying, my retirement isn't covering what I would like for it to cover. And they have extra time where they can work this and they sure as heck know a lot of people. So that's what I like looking for. But of course, I don't. we can't prejudge. We have to share this with everyone. You never know who it's gonna be perfect for. So now how did Sonia initially reach out to me? She initially started with the business, but like I mentioned, I had so many irons in the fire. I couldn't imagine adding something to my plate. So she went back into the friendship zone, which is very, very important to do. Don't just cold call an influencer and then get your feelings hurt if they don't comment back. These people are busy. 
and they're probably hit up all the time. So build a relationship so that you're actually a real person to them. Build the rapport, compliment what they're doing, say what you like about what they're doing, ask them questions about what got them started. If they can tell that you're just trying to sell them something, they're not interested. But if you sincerely care about what they're doing and you draw them out, now you're building that rapport, you're building the relationship. That really goes for all of our prospects. And then so, so when Sonia shared this um, with me, like I said, the timing wasn't right for the business, but I did love the products. She was right there. She said, it's all organic. It's um, the cleanest ever. And so when I started using it, I was like, wow, I can't believe how good this tastes. There's no sugar added. It's so stinking clean. This is amazing. So I started sharing it on Instagram. And that's when she was like, hold up, hold up. If you're sharing this on Instagram, you really, really should join the business because you can be making an extra income. I was like, okay, why not? I didn't understand the epicness of network marketing. I never wrapped my head around the power of this business model. And so when I said, wait, is this like a doTERRA thing? And she's like, yes, it's network marketing. I was like, oh, okay. Still being clueless. I'm like, sure, I, maybe I should join the business. So because I was so open and coachable and like, just tell me what to do. Cause I don't, I've never done this before. I don't exactly know what to do. I think that helps. So for anyone getting started, if you're very coachable and you just do what your mentor says, you'll have faster success. And so that's what I did. Sonia said, you should do zooms. I'm like, I don't know how. And she's like, you can do it. And then she's like, you should open a Facebook. And I've never had a Facebook. So I did it. She's like, you should make a support group. So I did it. Anything she told me to do. She's like, you should do a zoom every week. I was like, what if nobody shows up? She's like, even if one person shows up, do it anyways, it'll build your confidence. It, it's practice. And I'm like, you're right. So I just did everything she said. And she's amazing. She was so patient. And every time I said, Oh, I'm so sorry. I, I don't understand. She would say, never apologize. The more you ask me questions, the faster you're going to learn. So I love when you reach out to me with questions. Of course, all of us who are now currently working this business understand that. We love when our new brand partners are like, hey, sorry, how many UBTs do I need? What do I need again? Da, 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 because they're learning and they're little sponges and they're going to grow their business faster, aka help more people. And so it just fills our cup in so many aspects. Beautiful. Yeah. Normalizing it. And isn't that the truth? This is a relationship business and that's what retainment's all about. And it's not just about retaining customers and holding on to something. It's about creating a lifestyle that people love to live so that they can create their own legacies. And why wouldn't you want to be helping somebody and be a facilitator in a relationship like that? So, so beautiful, Melissa. Um, I want to open it up to my council members and see if they have questions for you and some people in the field, if you'd like to put your questions in the comments or raise your hand, um, but I'll invite my council members to come off and Taz looks like you're ready with one. Absolutely. Okay. So I've known Melissa since she just started and I've been following you and your social is incredible. So I remember when you just started, you exploded right off the bat, right? So if you could share a little bit of how you did that through social media. Okay. I think that's really important. You mentioned that because I didn't, um, I didn't just open up an Instagram and then have all of these customers. I have been really mentoring all of these people for years for free with nothing to offer for them to purchase, no actual program for them to buy, right? So I mean, year, many years, people were listening day after day after day after day. So when that month of December, I, December, 2018, I simply said, we are all doing a program. We're going to start on the 13th because it's a Monday. And this is going to help us navigate our way through the holiday season. I think like 134 people ordered themselves. Like they clicked on the link and ordered. That's not normal. <laughs> I tell everyone that's not normal. It's only because I had already been mentoring and coaching and sharing so consistently for a long time. So I tell every everyone that I work with, just keep sharing. You never know who's listening. You never know who's watching. Be consistent. That's the most important thing. So that's why I had such an explosion right out of the gate because I had already built that rapport with everybody. I love that. And your social media is um, 
it's just so fun. I can be in your living room or in your kitchen or at the airport with you or mm -hmm. in your Airbnb or on the beach or whatever, you know, social event you're going to at any point of the day. And, and um, was it just because Sonia asked you to do that and you just kept showing up that it became easier and easier? It's like, sometimes I'm like, oh, push the play button, but then I want to, you know, I'm not ready or I need to, you know, and then by that time it's, I'm often into seven other directions. So um, I remember I was already, I was already showing up for years beforehand. Yeah. So that's the key right there is for everybody do this because you love people. And if that's your intention and that's your energy, they feel that. And the more you share, the quicker you will become their sister, their cut, like they will look at you as their literal family. People look at me as their daughter who have never met me or their granddaughter. You know what I mean? Because I'm so consistent, like you said. She, and it doesn't have to be the perfect background. It's okay if you stutter. Right now, we're at a disgusting kitchen with the roof dilapidated because we just bought a condo we're going to renovate. But we're we're being real and sharing it. You know what I'm saying? The more real you are, the more they will identify and trust you. So I think that's the most important thing. And then, of course, being consistent, being super consistent. Love it. Yeah, the authenticity goes a long way. People really don't care how much you know. They 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 want to know how much you care. So exactly. I know it's kind of a cliche saying in the industry. However, it's so true. And that's exactly true. what we're talking about. Um, Carmela or Naila, do you, do you have a question for Melissa or do you see anything in the comments that we can bring to light? Jafet says, you're my sister for life. I feel the same. And Jafet, I just randomly met his mom and she's like, I know you. So it's so cool how you just connect with people all over the world with this awesome business, with this platform that we have. And when people get frustrated with Instagram, I'm not getting any likes. I'm not getting any comments. Nobody's clicking on my poll. I'm like, look, it's free. Stay consistent. Even if you help one person, even if you change one life, isn't that worth it? Just don't give up and stay consistent. And I think it's more powerful working with an influencer with a small sphere of influence than with a massive one. Because with a massive one, they just don't have that connection with their followers. It's not possible. But with a smaller one, they have a tighter connection with their Instagram following. Great post. Thanks, Naiva. And then Mary Beth. And then we're going to pivot the conversation to our call to action. Awesome. Thank you so much. This is so valuable. And I was just curious, how do you advise brand partners who have a much smaller number of followers on their social media? Like how, you know, what would your advice be to them? Answer every single question. It's social for a reason. So comment back, like what they're doing, draw them out, ask questions and that's go and really ask questions like, what got you into this? Oh, how was your trip in Maine last weekend? Because you just scrolled through their page. If you're really interactive, that will help you grow it faster. And Instagram favors when there's interaction. So the sooner you post something of value and you get comments on it, the more people Instagram will show your post to, right? And of course, if you're doing reels, keep them really short. Uh, they love on stories when you do polls. And then Instagram also favors reels right now and carousels more than anything. So just, just using the free platform and building relationships because you just never know. Who you Look, because of Instagram, I connected with Sonia and now all of you. And aren't we all like family? It's yeah. the best. Thank you, Thank you so much. Uh, Mary Beth. All right. Hi. Sorry, I'm not on camera. I've got bad reception, but Melissa, this has been so great. And I'm just curious, you know, you said you work with a lot of busy people, a lot of moms, and I always try to coach my people, you know, at least do something for your business every day. And I'm curious how, what are like your top three things that you would say you coach people when they're really busy, like maybe they're moms or they have another job. Where's the focus you, you, you. Okay. Let's do four of the top things that we can tell a super duper busy person. Number one, they must practice self-care. If they're pouring from an empty cup, people, and they're depleted, it, you're just not in the right headspace. You're not in the right emotional space. Take care of yourself first. If that means, what it does mean is do not even look at your phone first thing in the morning. Those emails, those text messages, they're not going anywhere. They will always be there. Take a few minutes to stretch, drink your lemon water, 
gratitude journal, manifest journal. We're all told to do it. We need to just do it. Why? Because it works. Say what you're grateful for. I'm so grateful for. I finally have more time for myself. I have finally hit this rank and found these wonderful people to work with me, even if it hasn't happened yet. Just do that first thing in the morning. Step two, I would say work with those who are showing up. You can't spread yourself too thin and drag people who aren't really working the business because it's a colossal waste of time and it's exhausting. You got to work with those who are showing up with the Zooms, con consistently posting, asking you questions, staying in touch, work with them. Number three, get out of management mode and take feed yourself first. If you don't feed yourself first, then you don't have anything to give. What does that mean? Call your prospects first before you even work with the team. Does that mean five a day? Does it mean 10 a day? Whatever that looks like, but make those calls first. Okay, that was number three. And then number four would be, number four would be acknowledgements. People will work much harder if they feel appreciated. Give acknowledgements, give shout outs, thank them for whatever they recently did. Give a little shout out. And just show appreciation. Gratitude is something, again, you can't put a price tag on. And it makes you feel good too. It makes us feel good when we're nice, right? When we show our appreciation. People will appreciate you more if they feel appreciated. That's all there is to it. And they'll work harder. Absolutely. And we always talk about being a consent culture and sharing with people, but we're also a celebration culture. And uh, like you spoke to earlier, really highlighting people, getting their permission to highlight them and celebrating um, really helps people stay engaged and excited about the changes that they're making. So I love that. Um, I want to just make sure, Carmela, did you have anything before we moved on? No, I've been enjoying Melissa's um, presence here with our council and the community this Friday. And I mean, your story about your family is amazing. And I hope that it really rings through to all the moms and all the people who are really building their business for their families, because she's a great testimony. And if you ever want to know how to do it, you just follow the leaders. Um, and I know that you're coming on here for athletic, you know, the performance pack and how you really, why we asked you is because we see how you brand with uh, physical movement as medicine, as well as the nutrition. So I think that's a really big, important part. You shared four tips and the first one is self-care. So maybe you just want to talk on how like important it is not to just like be pigeonholed in branding nutrition or have people think about health and wellness. Like it has to be a broad spectrum. It really does. It has to be a broad spectrum and you have to share more of the lifestyle. If there's too many commercials, people will turn the channel. So we have to share the lifestyle and if our breathing is shallow, our voice is shallow, we're not moving much, our energy will be low. But if we move and stretch, whatever that looks like to you, I love to stretch every single morning. I just feel alive. I really feel like I can bring more value to everybody if I take care of myself first. I personally prefer CrossFit. My husband prefers running. Some people prefer Pilates, whatever it looks like to you, but you must move. That will bring the energy up. And of course, Food is energy. Everything. If you eat processed packaged foods, very low energy. If you eat living superfood nutrition, that brings up our energy. So putting in the nutrition that we all are doing here into our tank from Purium is going to bring our energy to the next level. That's contagious. People will feel a difference. I was with a woman today, second time I met her, she said, I need to get to, I need to get with you with nutrition. Like she could feel it. She felt the difference in my energy as opposed to others. So when you're living by example, like I said, from the beginning, people will know exactly where to go when they're ready, when they're ready to feel better. Mm, thank you for that. Yeah, that's beautiful. And that's truly it, right? We, that's how we make a business out of a lifestyle and create create this life for ourselves where we're truly free in our health choices, medical freedoms, as well as our wealth choices and voting with our dollar and how we decide to do that. So you um, exemplify that beautifully, Melissa. And I just really appreciate this conversation. 
stick around. We're going to read the pledge right now. I'll have um, Naiva pull it up and Bob, if we can find Bob, he was going to read it last week and had to go. So maybe um, we can have Bob come up and then uh, and read the pledge. This isn't the pledge. Oh, yep. There we go. And then can we unmute Bob? I just asked him to unmute. Thank you. Hi, uh, <laughs> great, thank you. Um, I'd like to read the pledge. I pledge to defend the health of, whoops, don't get in my way there, uh, my health of myself and my family. I pledge to choose organic foods that are minimally processed and free of man-made ingredients. I pledge to read labels and educate myself on all aspects of clean living. I understand that my actions today will positively impact the health and environment of future generations. I am committed to sharing this movement of many, I am the million mommy movement. <laughs> And movement. We are the Million Mom Movement. And movement stands for movement of many. You don't have to have children. You just have to know of them or see them around sometimes. <laughs> but a lot of us do care about children. And um, that's what this movement is about, is really being able to uh, impart our everyday activism and uh, work to make the the world a safer place and educate on the everyday toxins that are impacting um, our our system and our society as a whole. Okay, so I'm going to pass to Naeva and hopefully Melissa will stick around. We're going to grab our phones now and Naeva is going to walk us through our call to action this week. Thank you so much. So for those of you who are curious, this is the article that we um, go to to go learn more, the detoxproject.org. And if you go to right here under reports, then it will bring you to this page and you'll have to scroll down about 15 pages to get down here. Um, but I wanted to go ahead and show you the progress that we've made so far. These are at the top of this list, you'll see that these are um, foods that contain high levels of glyphosate. This row right here has the parts per billion of glyphosate in food and 10 being the FDA safe level of glyphosate. So this is very alarming. And over the past months, we have actually covered every single one of these and reached out to them to let them know that we are concerned about our family's health because all of these foods contain high levels of glyphosate. And as a celebratory, um, next step, we've gotten down to the bottom of this list, and you can go review this whole list on your own, but we've gotten down to the next part where it's products that do not contain glyphosate. And so we've actually worked through this first page, and we are now on to the second page, number 14 and 15, Bobo's brand. And so we're actually celebrating them for being a non-GMO, non-detect of glyphosate. And so I'm gonna take you over to our Instagram page, where, which is where we have, do our call to action. If you're not yet following us here, please do. And I'm gonna take you over to Eat Bobos, which is their Instagram page. And the call to action is to go click on this first post. And you'll see right here, I already went and made a post for us. And we're basically just celebrating them for being a product that cares enough to not use oats that are sprayed with glyphosate and not use any ingredients that contaminate this toxic chemical. So the message is that it has been brought to our attention that Bobo's has no glyphosate detected per the detox projects report, specifically Bobo's original oat bar and Bobo's peanut butter chocolate chip oat bar do not contain the toxic herbicide glyphosate per the detox project report PDF. We have been reaching out to companies to address this issue. And as a group of concerned parents at the Million Mom Movement, we would like to thank you. So this is our call to action. We are now on this list of non-detect uh, products. And we're really excited to just be celebrating these companies and these brands for doing their own homework and making sure that their products are safe for our families. 
Thanks everyone for getting your phones out. And if you screen record what you did, you can put a little music behind it and make a reel. Don't forget to tag the Million Mom Movement in that. And, and please, um, uh, also, if you're in your fast start window, you can submit that. So I'm gonna pass to Taz now. Melissa, you're getting so much love in the comments. Um, this has been such a great tool. I really wanna thank you. And Taz, please go ahead and close us out. Absolutely. Again, thank you, Melissa, for being on and sharing your incredible story. So next week on Fierce Friday, March 31st, we are going to be focused on women's health and nutrition. So that is perimenopause and menopause. So reach, reach out to a person who invited you to this call and invite them to our Facebook group, which is a Million Mom Movement official group. We have an Instagram page. So please follow that at Million Mom Movement and hashtag Million Mom Movement. I am the Million Mom Movement and we are the Million Mom Movement. We also have a Twitter page and check out all of our videos on YouTube. From our Lunch and Learns to all of our Fierce Fridays, they are all there. So you can use that as tools to share it with every single person you meet and if a story may relate to them. Because as we say, stories sell here, right? And reach out to the person who invited you and we look forward to seeing you next week but before we have a special announcement so we're still looking for that five to 15 second clip for kids in our field okay so if you have a child or you know a child please have them post a quick video about you know using the superfoods and send it in to us and if one of my council members can post that in the type form in our chat and we are looking for 10 to 15 second video clip and that's all. And thank you, everyone. And we hope to see you next week. Thanks, everyone. I'll have Naiva unmute.